Welcome to 3-Minute Theology with Joel. One of the most significant indications that we have in Scripture of the presence of Jesus in the Old Testament actually comes when we compare John chapter 1 with Genesis chapter 1. Now, before we get into that, I want to do a little bit of history of uh, Bible and languages. The Old Testament was written in Hebrew and the New Testament was written in Greek. However, around the period of the exile and a little bit after it, as uh, Alexander the Great comes onto the historical scene and uh, the Greeks are kind of taking over, Greek kind of became the world language. And so there was a need to translate the Hebrew of the Old Testament into Greek to get into the hands of more people. And this is exactly what took place. And this is called the Septuagint. The Septuagint is the Hebrew Bible translated into Greek. Fun fact, in fact, most of the uh, disciples and the authors of the New Testament, they're actually quoting directly from the Septuagint. This comes in really important when we look at John chapter 1 next to Genesis chapter 1. Let's do that now. In Genesis chapter 1, we have the creation story. In the very beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, the Hebrew Bible in the Greek is the Septuagint. Notice this. In the beginning, in Greek is an RK, right? Okay, interesting. John chapter 1. Notice this. In the beginning, and now we have a parenthetical idea was the word, all right, the Greek, and arche. Notice the similarity between these two. They're exactly the same. It's almost like the biblical author uh, copied and pasted it in. However, in John 1, we almost have a commentary for what's taking place in Genesis 1. Here we have God created the heavens and the earth. How did this take place? Well, John 1 tells us, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, which means the Word, who we know is Jesus, is actually participating in the creation of the heavens. How do we know that? John 1 verse 3, all things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. This is pretty incredible. What we find in John chapter 1 compared to Genesis chapter 1 is that in the beginning, in our case, there was the Word, the Word was Jesus, and all the things that God creates, heaven and earth, and all the things that fill up the heavens and the earth, were created through the Messiah, Jesus. Because without Jesus, none of that stuff could be made, nor could it all be held together. How do we know that Jesus was present and active in the Old Testament? Well, just read John chapter 1, and then read Genesis chapter 1, and marvel at the goodness of God. 